What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we have another video of some pops that might be going up in value in the future. So let's check it out. Guys, so before we jump into the actual video, I wanted to address something that a lot of you guys were talking about in yesterday's video, which was this law pop right here. Yes, it is fake. It is the fake that I bought. I just don't have an extra one piece pop as a placeholder here. Um, so I just put it there because it is one piece to fill it and make it look flush. My actual real law pop is behind me right here, guys. I have a real one. I just bought that one for a fake versus real video. That's going to be, I think I'm going to put that out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Um, I have something else I want to review, which is really awesome. So there might be two videos tomorrow, which is going to be really fun, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to address that. A lot of you guys were like, oh my God, you're, he's like, dude, your law pops fake. I'm like, I, I, I know. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody's like freaking out. And I appreciate the concern. I appreciate you guys a lot. It's, um, I know it's fake though. I bought it, um, for like 25 bucks. No, not 25, like 20 bucks on Amazon for this real versus fake video that I have coming soon. So don't worry. Um, I know it's fake. I have a real one behind me. It's just a space filler essentially. All right guys. So today we have another video of essentially speculation of some pops that I think might go up in value just because of certain shows out there or new pops potentially coming of these in the future, movies, etc., etc. So it's a fun little speculation video, fun little, you know, guessing if these might go up in value. Um, and then also telling you guys my reasoning behind that. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, make sure to stick around and uh, comment down below. What are some pops that you guys think might go up in value? If you guys like these videos, I can do it more often if you'd like. Um, I found a few, this time around which were really cool and uh, some I'm kind of like mentioning again just because hey they already have started to climb in value since my last video talking about them and I wanted to mention them again. So the first thing I want to talk about guys is Edward here from Full Metal Alchemist. So the reason I say this one, um, he is only a common right now and he's not vaulted yet but he does have a potential chase uh, like a glow with um, energy chase or whatever coming next year potentially in a whole nother wave that I talked about in a previous video of a whole new Full Metal Alchemist wave coming soon. We also did recently have Lust release at Hot Topic so that just shows they're starting to make more Full Metal um, pops which is really cool and uh, if a chase releases of him and it's significantly different then I think people are going to want the original pop and it's going to raise it up in value probably 10-20 bucks. So if you don't own it now and if you like the anime or if you haven't checked out the anime it is one of the best animes out there as what I've been told my brother absolutely loves it. And I really think this one has potential to go up in value more with that new Chase potentially coming out next year. Um, and if I get any other updates on that actual Chase and Common situation, I'll let you guys know. But as far as I know, they're supposed to be coming um, sometime in 2022. And... Um, we haven't seen any glams of them yet, like the AOT and Black Clover pops that are coming, um, but they should be coming because they were also thrown up for pre-order um, on multiple different sites, which is really awesome. So when I get more information, stay tuned. But for now, guys, I really think Edward and a few of the other Full Metal Al Alchemist pops might go up in value, but Edward especially. Next up, guys, we do have some Marvel here. So we have some Loki pops that I really think are going to go up in value a lot. A lot of them actually have already gone up in value, especially like the Loki with helmet, the Marvel Collector Core exclusive. Um, just because they showed flashbacks of him his helmet and things like that in the sh actual show. There's a lot going on in the show right now. Um, it's been about tomorrow. Tomorrow will actually be a week since the uh, last episode, so I think it's safe to talk about spoilers and things like that from the actual in credit scene of the other one. Um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about right now. If you haven't seen the episode yet, I'm, I'm going to be talking about it right now, just so everybody knows. Anyways, so... In the end credit scene in the last actual video, guys, we did have um, this Loki on the bottom right-hand corner, the all-gold one, the comic book version. He did actually show it was an older version of Loki. And in that episode, guys, Loki actually ended up getting pruned, but it showed in the end credit scene that he wasn't actually dead, like they said, after you get pruned. So then three different variants of Loki actually showed up, and um, this one was an, this actual pop uh, that Funko made a while back actually showed up, but it was an older Loki in this actual original comic style, which was really cool. So this one has already gone up. It's it's not selling for 34. It's like selling for like 40 ish to 50 ish, depending on where you get it. Um, but there are a lot of sales on eBay. Depending on what happens in the next episode, I really do think this one's actually going to gain a little bit more traction and value to it, um, just because it actually did appear in the show. And it's the same thing that happened with the uh, Loki in game one, where he's holding the Tesseract. That was literally the first scene they showed in the show. Literally the first scene. And then it just kind of made that one go up in value. It settled a little bit more. It's gone down a lot in value, especially with all the fakes going around of that one um, on eBay. They were quick with it. As soon as Loki popped up the show, 
Then there was a ton of fakes of this Endgame one because it's one of the most popular Loki pops right now um, compared to some of the other ones as well, guys. But I really do think that one out of all these is probably going to go up significantly as well, guys, as the Loki like helmet. It's just a lot of the ones with the helmet in his helmet because that's what they're showing. Uh, they show the helmet pretty often now. And then as well as the Loki with Mjolnir, the, uh, the uh, comic book, free comic book day, PX previews exclusive one. That one has been actually going up in value a lot. This hasn't been shown in the show yet, but we do have two episodes left, so maybe it could be in this next episode tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but I actually really do like that pop. I never ended up buying the mystery box. I wish I did just to do it, but I was like, I think it was like I wanted to buy like two or three to try to get like the rare variants or whatever of the comic books or t-shirts or whatever in there. Um, or there was some signed as well. Anyways, guys, it was like 30 bucks a box, 35 bucks a box. I didn't want to spend like 60, 70 bucks on boxes at the time. So I just don't have this one, but I have been looking on Mercari for one just because it's a solid pop where he's holding Mjolnir. I think it's a really cool one. But yeah, guys, for the most part, it's totally up to you if you decide to pick up some of these. I'm just saying, hey, they might go up in value, but these are some really cool Loki pops. And uh, after the show, it's made it's opened me a lot more to the character, which is awesome. And I'm very excited to see what happens in these next two episodes. So comment down below, what are some Loki pops that you think are going to go up in value within the next two episodes. Next up guys, this one is actually a really important one right now because the movie actually does release in three days and this is Black Widow. So a, part, a lot of the Black Widow pops have been slowly rising in value because of all the trailers popping up and the actual movie right around the corner. Um, so me and Bailey actually decided we're gonna get it on Disney Plus, part of the premiere access thing. You get it early, 30 bucks versus going to the theater and spending like 30 bucks just on tickets and then popcorn and things like that. Plus my sisters want to see it, which is awesome as well. So we can kind of split that and it makes it about seven bucks a piece, which is not bad at all. And you get to stay home. Um, anyways, guys, that's just our movie plans. I don't know why I mentioned that. I picked up like, I picked six different Black Widow pops. There's a couple other ones, but six different Black Widow pops that I think are probably going to go up in value. If anything, all of them are going to gain a little bit. Uh, but you have the original Avengers Assemble Black Widow. But yeah, guys, I really do think this Avengers Assemble one might go up in value. As well, guys, as we do have the Black Widow from Winter Soldier. That is, I think, one of the oldest Winter Soldier pops here. I think at least, um, let me see, that says 2014. Yeah, that is actually one of the oldest ones there. Um, all of these are vaulted as well, guys, except for the Avengers Endgame one, Infinity War, and the Assemble one. So the other three are vaulted. Uh, we also do have the Civil War one, um, which just shows her just in a regular black suit. A lot of them are just in her black suit, her traditional thing. That one's like $42. A lot of the Civil War ones actually have been going up in value a lot. Um, then we do have the um, Avengers Age of Ultron one, where she's just holding the electric batons. There's a lot of different Black Widow pops, essentially, is what I'm saying, um, that all are going to kind of go up in value randomly. Uh, then we have the Infinity War one, which is like 27 bucks, and then the common Avengers Endgame one, 12 bucks. That one's going to be the least hardest to find out of all of these. The ones, ones really that you're going to worry about finding is the older ones that are, you know, from back from 2015 and 2014 of the Winter Soldier one, Civil War, and Age of Ultron, especially trying to find them in good boxes. She's just an awesome character nonetheless. Um, I really do... What I really want is because I want the Captain America from Avengers Age of Ultron, but I'd really like to just get an original, um, just a whole Avenger set of all of them from my favorite points. Um, too bad they didn't make Black Widow from the original Avenger set. They made Nick Fury instead of Black Widow and Hawk. I don't know. It was weird with that Avengers movie set. Anyways, um, though, guys, like I said... In three days, the actual movie's coming out, and if it's really good, if it's really well received, I see a lot of Black Widow fans probably jumping the gun and finally buying some of these pops, and I see a lot of people kind of, you know, raising the value of these pops on eBay, raising the prices and things like that, because it's a very popular movie, um, especially in the summer and everything like that. But comment down below, do you guys think Black Widow pops are going to go up or go down? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next up, guys, we do have Hawkeye here. Uh, so Hawkeye, the reason I say this is because he does actually have a new... TV series coming out pretty soon uh, within the next month or two I believe they keep they delay some of these so I'm not exactly sure the exact date anymore um, but anyways guys there are a couple different Hawkeye pops out there and then there's one in a um, you know like a three pack with Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, something like that. Some weird, like, multi-pack. Uh, but we have the original Hawkeye. I think this was the actual first one from Avengers Age of Ultron back in 2015. It's like a $10 pop. Like, even if you're a Hawkeye fan, like, that's a really cool pop, to be honest. Then we do have the, you know, the Avengers Endgame one. Um, he has multiple from Avengers Endgame. Um, then we do have the Shawarma Hawkeye and Assemble, Avengers Assemble Hawkeye. Um, 
just Amazon exclusive. So those are probably the most expensive out of all of these Hawkeyes, but I really do think him, you know, being in the show and everything like that, teaching his daughter to do archery and everything like that. I really do think eventually these pops are going to gain some more value and traction um, because I feel like these ones are definitely sleepers out of most of them in this video I'm actually talking about because they're already very undervalued now. And I'm really surprised that Age of Ultron Hawkeye is not more than $9 already because it's six years old and it's a very popular movie. So I was really surprised to see that value. But again, you guys can comment down below your thoughts on, you know, the new Hawkeye TV show coming out and everything like that. Um, do you guys think these are going to go up in value? Do you think they'll stay the same? Let me hear your thoughts. Next up, guys, another Marvel TV show we have is She-Hulk here. So She-Hulk is getting her actual own show. Um, there's been a lot of talk about it lately, actually. I was reading into it and some of the actors and everything like that. So there are multiple different She-Hulk pops. Um, these are some of the more prominent ones. There's even like a spring convention sticker, an official sticker one. But anyways, guys, regardless of the sticker, they're around the same price. Um, there are multiple different She-Hulk pops you could grab if you are a fan of this. I'm just also, this is also a video to make aware, hey guys, these could go up in value, so if you're a big fan of them, grab them now, because you never know. Even if they don't change in price, you still have your favorite character now, essentially. Um, but yes, you have the She-Hulk comics ones. Um, some of these are vaulted, some are not. Like, the red She-Hulk is vaulted. Um, the... Basically, the glow and normal one, the number 147 there, is vaulted. One shows is not vaulted, the glow one, for some reason, even though it's the exact same pop. So you can practically say that is vaulted. I don't see them reprinting more. Um, as well, guys, as we do have the lawyer version, which should definitely show up in the show, because she was a lawyer, and then she turned into... She, anyways. Um, Red She-Hulk, I kind of just threw this one on the list because it was She-Hulk, and I feel like it's going to go up in value just... A matter of association. I don't think they'll show Red She-Hulk in the actual show because um, this is just her origins essentially. And then we also do have the She-Hulk zombie one. Again, just going to go up in value by association because it's a She-Hulk pop and if people really want it and the other ones are getting more expensive, they'll just buy one just to have one. Um, but yeah, I highly doubt they're going to show her as a zombie. You know, um, but for the most part, guys, with the new show coming out, I do expect these to kind of gain some value, some sort of traction higher up, because um, a lot of these are, you know, most of these are around like anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks, which isn't really bad for these pops right now, especially, and especially some of them being vaulted and older pops and harder to find. I found one like at a comic book shop and they, it was like regular She-Hulk and I think they had it for like 30 bucks. So I was like, they're already starting to go up. And just because of the prices I'm showing you here does not mean they're not going for more on eBay or anything like that. I'm just showing you guys, hey, you know, they're probably selling around for these prices as well or more. And that just means they might go up even more. Next up, guys, we do have Kamala here, aka Miss Marvel. Um, so I was really introduced to her character from the actual Avengers game. I didn't really read too much up into her or really cared about her character from the game. She's actually a really cool player to actually use in the game. So she's getting her own show, TV show, Miss Marvel on Disney+. Plus. Now, um, this is actually really cool. I think I might watch the show... I'm still debating, like, she's not my favorite hero out there, but I did enjoy her in the game, so maybe, we'll see. Um, but there are two pops of her out there currently, um, and then you have the Miss, you have the Miss Marvel, the comic one, as well as the Avengers game ver version. Both are literally under 15 bucks if you want to grab them. If people really like the show, again, if it's well-received, kind of like Black Widow, then I'm assuming these are going to gain some value, and people are going to start trying to scoop these up and want to buy them because they're going to really enjoy the show and want them. Depending on, you know, she could die in the show, she could not die in the show, anything could happen in this actual show, raising the value of pops. So anything by association with the actual show could raise the value of these pops, or even drop it. You never know. So if you own it, maybe it could drop in value. Who knows? But for the most part, guys, I wanted to include these. I haven't seen anybody talk about these ones, and I figured they're also sleepers, kind of like Hawkeye, because... She's been more and more popular lately, and even getting her own TV show compared to some of the other, you know, superheroes from Marvel that, you know, are more popular, I'd say. So, it's actually pretty cool. Alright guys, so the last actual thing I want to talk about is some Spider-Man pops, villains, that I think are going to go up in value. So, we have a few different ones here, and the first one being Dr. Octopus. So, there's a lot of speculation that he might be in the actual movie, he might not be in the movie. There's a ton of stuff going out out there, all right? I'm not going to say anything's confirmed. I really don't know at the end of the day. There's so many Twitter pages. I get Twitter notifications off the wazoo saying, oh, this is confirmed. This is confirmed. Oh, this is not confirmed. This is, I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I expect him to be in the movie. There's been a ton of people saying he is, a ton of people saying there isn't. If he does appear in the movie, guys, this pop's going to go nuts just because, you know, he hasn't been in the movie 
for a very long time, you know. Um, then we also do have Mysterio, and the reason I put both of these Mysterio Pops, there are some other ones, but the reason I put these two is one, they're already vaulted for some reason. I, I don't know why, I wasn't expecting Funko to do that. They're vaulted from 2019, that was only two years ago when the movie came out. So they're already vaulted, which was nuts to me, and they're only $10 Pops, which is crazy. So you could still scoop them up, even if you're a Mysterio fan. I have... I think I have two Mysterio Pops. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Anyways, um, Mysterio, though, obviously he's going to be the main villain in the next movie because of what happened at the end of Far From Home, exposing Spider-Man's identity and everything like that. If you haven't seen the movie yet, that's just crazy. But that's not a spoiler. Um, anyways, guys, yes, at the end, he essentially exposes Spider-Man's identity, and that's what leads up into this next movie. We don't know if there's going to be a Spider-Verse situation. Nobody knows. But if there is, then we could see all kinds of different villains coming in. As well as, guys, is... The Doc Ock is literally on the cast list as well. Like, it's literally on the cast list on Google. So, I mean, is he going to be in the movie? Is he not? Is he just going to make a cameo? Who really knows at the end of the day? If he's on the cast list, I feel like he'll definitely appear in the movie then. Unless they take him off last minute. I don't know. That seems weird. Um, a lot of rumors going around. Anyways, he's on the cast list, though. Um, then we also do have Electro down here. So, Jamie Foxx is actually on the cast list as well. He was Electro in the last movie, so who else would he be in this movie? Um, and then there's just so much stuff going around. Like, I could I could just sit here and go into conspiracy theories about this movie all day of everything going around. I try to follow it pretty religiously because I really want a Spider-Verse. Um, but anyways, guys, you do have... Um, there's a couple Electro Pops out there. There's the Specialty Series one that actually already gained some value to it. He's, it says trending about a 21 bucks, but it could be selling for more. Um, then we also do have, depending on where you look, like I could do research into eBay, Mercari, Facebook group, things like that. Everybody's going to sell something different on at each app. So it's really up to you guys at the end of the day to do the research as well and see where you can find the best prices. Um, then we have the Electro Glow in the Dark one. If Jamie Foxx is Electro in the movie, like everybody's saying and the speculation and everything like that, then I expect this one to go up in value because it was the original Electro Pop, you know? And I don't, I'm pretty sure there's rumors of him not being blue. I think even he said it. Um, that's what people are saying, that he's not going to be blue. So he maybe they, he might don the original comic book version outfit. Not sure how they're going to do that. I feel like that's going to look weird on live action. We'll see. But for the most part, guys, these are a few of the Spider-Man villains that I do feel like are going to go up in value. Plus, we should be seeing a trailer fairly soon because they just released the Spider-Man No Way Home Pops not too long ago, like two, three days ago. So I feel like we should be seeing a trailer very, very soon. Anyways, guys, that is another like pop type speculation video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully it gave you some insight on some of the new Marvel pops or some of the older Marvel pops that might be going up in value. I own two Doc Ox myself. I have one out of box up here. I don't think you guys can see it, but and then one in the box. He's just also one of my favorite characters from, you know, Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. So I had to have a pop of him and a few others. There's a lot of Spider-Man pops I'm still getting. It's one of my main collections currently. I have some of the villains down here, but I decided to display some My Hero behind me for once. Um, I actually did move the collection, if anybody was wondering as well. It is moved. It's a little smaller in area. I have another shelf over there. Um, but yes, I'm in this corner recording now, from now on, for a little bit. Um, but yeah, guys, for the most part, comment down below some pops that you think might go up in value. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts on different things I talked about in this video or some other pops, whether it's anime, Marvel, DC, movies, horror, anything. I'd love to hear your thoughts of anything you think or it, you see trending. Anyways, guys, I want to say a huge shout-out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much to everybody who has joined recently. Everybody who's come and gone, I really do appreciate the support regardless. You guys really don't have to, and I really appreciate that you guys do it anyways. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Truly, I really do appreciate it and mean that. I also want to tell you guys, make sure to be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. I update you guys over there pretty frequently as well. Um, and then, you know, click that notification bell. Subscribe here if you're new here as well. And lastly, be joining the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends. Anyways, I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you.